a very good day to all of you and immediately after my national session i am live with all of you for the international session this international session is meant for all those patients who want to inquire their questions in english you may be from india you may be from any country if you want to ask me questions in english you are welcome in this international version of my live program while i'm speaking over here and when i'm guiding you all of you from my team wherever there is any question you can interrupt me you can ask me the question riya you can interrupt me wherever there is a question if we have missed any old question from those who were there live you can ask those questions also so now i am going to be continuing about hepatitis i was talking about various kinds of hepatitis in my national program what is important over here is to know that the most common kind of hepatitis is hepatitis b but then hepatitis c is equally dangerous hepatitis a e d are other forms of hepatitis but primarily since we get the maximum inquiries in regards of hepatitis b so i would be starting with hepatitis b hepatitis b is a disease which generally spreads through blood it can be through the sexual intercourse it can be due to infected needles or infected blood so and these are some of the methods through which it generally spreads and once the virus enters the body it is the acute phase initially in many cases the immune system of the body is strong enough so strong that it is capable to kick off the virus by itself and the acute phase does not move on to the chronic phase but in most of the patients it does reach that stage and that is the stage where a patient is said to have chronic hepatitis when a patient is having chronic hepatitis at that stage after many years of being inside the body the virus it keeps on multiplying and it may affect the liver at a particular stage so it is very important that if a person is suffering from chronic hepatitis with the help of ayurveda we bring that person to a disease free stage because otherwise having a virus inside the body and that to a virus which can be really very problematic is very risky now another thing which does come in the mind of majority of the patients who come in ayurveda for starting the ayurvedic treatment is metals in ayurveda there is a usage of metals by the ancients so at times a patient feels that i may be given metals in ayurveda what i want to tell you all over here is that if we are giving ayurveda to you the ayurveda which we are giving does not contain metals it is herbal ayurveda and from wherever you are taking ayurveda always go for sealed ayurveda and ayurveda which contains the ingredients in them the ingredients should be mentioned that is why when we are treating hepatitis majority of our medicines are fda approved medicines and that is why they are available in us also they are available in india also and a patient can without the fear of any side effects go for the treatment of hepatitis sunny kumar asking about delhi opd date sunny ji my next delhi opd will be on the 30th of this month you can contact the national team you can directly contact to our mobile app for the opd it will be on 30th so now when we talk about the diet because see as far as the medication the treatment concepts are concerned i am already having various videos on youtube channel of mine which can guide you how our medicines are working in fact many of these videos have already been copied by many and that is why i always say 
do not believe on concepts believe on what the lab investigations have to say so if you are getting treatment from us or anywhere else always compare the lab investigations so that you know that yes a particular medicine is working now if i talk about the diet of hepatitis the more simple the diet the more easily digestible the diet the better it is for the patient the diet should always be lagu and supachya by lagu i mean to say a diet which is easy for the body to digest supachya again is almost synonym which means that less of digestive juices less of effort from the body is required and the diet which does not vitiates vata pitta or kapha so that is the kind of diet which should be taken by a hepatitis patient the more a person if remains vegetarian vegan the quicker is the improvement in the patient along with the diet uh, the thing which is very important over here is yoga pranayams since last few years yoga is becoming increasingly popular so many of the patients do they know what exactly is pranayam still if you want any kind of guidelines of pranayam you can go to the pranayams mentioned on our youtube channel so pranayams especially kapalbhati is very good for hepatitis patients while i am corresponding with you any questions which come in your mind you are welcome to ask your questions i would love to answer your questions any question so mr jitendra wants to ask how can his spsg be turned negative he is not having any symptoms Mr. Jitendra, see the biggest thing in the hepatitis patient is that whatever might be the value of HBSAG, if the virus is not active against the liver, there shall be virtually no symptoms. So even if there are no symptoms, the allopathic doctors they will tell you that see your virus is in the chronic stage. There is nothing that can be done for it. if the viral load increases then some medications that is the arvs will be given to you any antivirals shall be given to you so the biggest challenge over here is that any antivirals if they are given to a person upon the multiple divisions of the virus when the viral load starts to increase then those antivirals are having so many side effects on the body so why to wait for a virus to divide and then start action against it if the virus is not dividing it is there in the body it in fact is the right stage as per ayurveda is concerned that before it attacks the body let's attack it and bring the hbs ag titer value down slowly and gradually and that is something which you can always compare if you are taking treatment from us or anywhere else Yes, Nish Kumar uh, from Mumbai. Is it possible to undergo your treatment for TKD with the help of your mobile app? See, the mobile app is for convenience purpose. You can chat with the doctors. You can forward your reports to the mobile app. But then PKD, which is polycystic kidney disease, which is a genetic disorder in which there are multiple cysts that are developing in the kidney, and they may develop at some stage in liver. is a disease which has to be taken with utmost care what happens over here is that till the time the creatinine the urea it has not gone to a alarmingly high stage nobody becomes serious for it there are so many people who approach me at the right stage when the creatinine is not that high the urea is not that high and the cysts are too many at that stage it is even easier for us to give recovery although in advanced stage is also patient come to us and we are able to give good recovery but then in the initial phase it becomes easier for us but people waste that stage so do not let this stage go away you definitely can interact with us you can meet me in one of the opds 
there are certain dietary supplements which you can start right sitting at your place but then i would like you to meet me in one of my opds my next upcoming opd near your area shall be my pune opd so till the time you meet me in my pune opd you can start with one or two dietary supplements which my doctors will be guiding you so that the cysts they do not further increase in size but don't forget i would like you to be over there i would like to do nadi prediction for you so that i can see whether it is vata pitta kapha which dosha is more aggravated yes so mr felix wants to know about hiv mr felix if you are asking about hiv see there are lots of many fake commitments that are made around the globe for hiv but then we believe in making the right kind of commitments since you have asked about hiv the most important thing which is over here to know this the cd4 count the cd4 count in a hiv patient starts reducing and it is this cd4 count when it goes below a particular level that is 50 a person may develop aids so if any treatment is working in your case it should immediately start improving your cd4 count that is the first sign which you should see with our treatment for any good treatment then comes the viral load if any treatment is working in your case especially with our treatment most of the patients they see a reduction a marked reduction in the viral load and then gradually many of them a day comes when the viral load is not there it is non detectable it is like this by step by step that we keep on giving improvements and recovery in one test after that that is how we go about hiv so that the patient also knows that yes if he is taking treatment it is giving some results and we also know that if we are giving treatment the person is finding results yes mr julius john asking about neuropathy mr julius when we talk about neuropathy neuropathy can be due to multiple reasons like diabetic neuropathy then any immunoglobulin induced neuropathy then neuropathy due to sclerosis but whatever might be the reason when we talk about neuropathy the nerves are damaged the myelin sheath is damaged and the neurotransmitter is depleted yes there is a lot that ayurveda can do in a patient suffering from neuropathy both the shaman chikitsa as well as the shodhan chikitsa that means the medications to eat as well as the panch karma therapies that we do indoor if the problem is not that extreme the dietary supplements that we give in neuropathy they immediately start repairing the myelin sheath of neurons and increase the neurotransmitter level so a person generally if we are giving a person any kind of treatment be it shaman be it shodhan a person start experiencing positive changes from the first month itself so if neuropathy is there do not worry in ayurveda it is a vata jrog vayu janya vikar and there are lot many good things for it which can give very good recovery yes so mr ekin wants to know if yoga will be useful during kidney treatment mr ekin the best yoga which is good for a kidney patient is seethli karan what you need to do for it is roll your tongue and take a deep breath inside like this this was one stroke of seethli karan this is the best pranayam for a kidney patient so do seethli karan at least 10 minutes per day that will definitely help in improving your kidney functions because kidney is a disease when we talk about a damaged kidney where pitta has increased and with this seethli karan you can definitely control the pitta and you can always forward your reports to us where you can guide see it's not about giving you or piling you up with any kind of medication but then guidelines lifestyle changes there are a lot of many things apart from the medication which can be done which can change the life of a person suffering from kidney disease yes should i continue or are you having any questions with you yeah shri from kerala patient uh, of itp asking uh, that can i do light exercise or yoga should i uh, need to take medicine for hair growth 
जयश्री जी यू डेफिनेटली कैन डू लाइट एक्सरसाइजेस यू डेफिनेटली कैन यू योगा योगा इज वेरी गुड इन आईटीपी एंड द योगा व्हिच इज बेनिफिशियल इन आईटीपी इज कपाल भाति वंस अगेन सो बिकॉज़ वी नीड टू इंक्रीज द पित्ता सो कपाल भाति इज गुड यू कैन डू कपाल भाति बट सिंस द प्लेटलेट काउंट्स आर लेस इन आईटीपी सो कपाल भाति शुड नेवर बी डन फॉर मोर देन 5 मिनट्स you do it for 5 minutes you take a break and in the afternoon again you do it for 5 minutes you take a break in the evening you can again do it for 5 minutes so eventually you are doing it for 15 minutes in a day and as far as your hair fall are concerned you can take bhringaraj asa which is good in itp as well as for hair fall and if you want to apply something our cosmetic range of wild rose variety wild rose conditioner wild rose shampoo are the ones which are for controlling pitta so you can use those also yes mr raghav is asking about the symptoms of hepatitis mr raghav when we talk about symptom of hepatitis see if the virus is inactive inside the body there may virtually be no symptom at all and if the virus is highly active against the body that means if a person is having active hepatitis where the virus has attacked the liver then it is a marked increase in the liver enzymes like sgot sgpt marked increase in serum bilirubin yellowish eyes loss of appetite it may be ascites there are lot many things that can happen but then it's only in very few patients where the virus enters the body that it actually gets active against the body so it's in very few patients and where it does happen it can cause such symptoms otherwise a person when he is in a chronic hepatitis stage is effectively symptomless yes sunjan kumar uh, asking about chronic calcific pancreatitis see mr uh, gunjan ji gunjan ji if you are talking about chronic pancreatitis again it's a pitta jvikar the serum amylase generally rises when a sub person is suffering from pancreatitis and if we talk about ayurveda it is the ranjak pit which we need to balance over here although the ranjak pit is in liver and spleen but then generally with my experience i have seen that if ranjak pit is more it causes pancreatitis too so it is the pit which we need to control in your case so all kind of ayurvedic medications which are cooling in nature like sandalwood oil mukta pishti if we talk about our patented medications we are having acic tablets we are having enzyme syrup there are multiple things that can be taken because the biggest problem which a person suffering from pancreatitis may face is pain severe pain indigestion and in the long run it may proceed to making the patient diabetic so it should always be taken care of we would like you to share your reports with us so that we can further guide you in this regards my doctors will be getting in touch with you and you can always forward the reports to our nd care app available on google play store yes so mr lokesh rao wants to know about the tests to be done to analyze hepatitis b severity see the test which need to be analyzed it can be categorized into two parts one is to see whether the virus has damaged the liver or is active against the liver or not to analyze that the best test is fibro scan go for a fibro scan you can go for lfts that are the liver function test you can go for hb eag hepatitis b envelope antigen which can tell you whether the virus is currently active or not you can also go for hbv dna that is the hepatitis b viral load but the test to see how much time is required in ayurveda to bring you out of this disease is different from these tests and that test is hbsag titer value hepatitis b surface antigen which is also known as australia antigen the titer value of that antigen it is very important to go for that yes parik sarika asking about weight loss management see if we are talking about weight loss management although the topic is generally taken care of by dr monica over here because she is the one dealing with the weight loss department of our company but then since you have asked a bit of knowledge i'll be giving to you in that regards and that is ayurveda believes in sapt dhatus ras rakt maas med asthi majja and shukra and these dhatus are connected with micro channels when these micro channels get occluded 
it is the meda dhatu which increases too much so we in ayurveda over here use in the medicines which are sroto shodhak that is which remove the toxins occluded ones out of the srotas the micro channels and which increase the bmr there are various patented medications that we are using over here in our company there is thyro armor that we use over here then there is medohar gugulu that we use over here third we have developed the anti celluloid gel also that we use if the deposition of fat is around the waist or stomach on a particular organ so there are lot many things that can be done and one thing which i always advise my viewers is take meals only twice a day for one take more of salads more of vegetables and drink warm water rather than the normal water it will definitely help you towards losing your weight yes so mr arshik thakuri ji wants to know how longer should they take their medicine to get negative reports from hepatitis b chronic see the hepatitis b chronic for the exact duration we need to know the hbs ag titer value whenever you start treatment with us on the 7th day of my treatment when the medicines become maximum active inside the body you need to go for hbs ag titer value then you again go to re, you need to take that retest after 2 months and then i can compare <coughs> these two tests and i can judge that how quickly the medicines are acting inside your body then i can give you the best time frame because to be honest you will find so many doctors over here who will be making fake commitments it will take 6 months it will take 3 months it will take 9 months but to be honest how is it practically possible that with different titer values it requires the same time in all the patients so the time always depends upon what exactly your reports have to say and how much you can follow the guidelines yes mr lokesh uh, asking about whether multiple lipoma has symptom of hepatitis no mr lokesh multiple lipomas are a different thing if you are having multiple lipomas along with being hepatitis positive there is not much relation between the two so if there are multiple lipomas there are lot many things in ayurveda one of them being khachinar gugulu which is very good there is another medication cyst care by the name of cyst care which we are having in us which is very good in removing those lipomas out of the body and if you don't want to take anything warm water is something which really helps in removing lipomas but then do not correlate the same with hepatitis yes so ms marvi wants to know can lack of sleep cause depression yeah lack of sleep can definitely cause depression because ayurveda believes that ahar nidra and brahmacharya these three are the three upstams of our body so nidra is very important and if we are not sleeping properly the serotonin level inside our body will fall down and serotonin is the hormone of happiness so if serotonin fall down falls down it definitely will cause depression so sleep properly try sleeping at the right time and try applying some oil on your feet and scalp before you sleep you will get a better sleep with it yes sangeeta tomar wants to know about hepatitis treatment duration sangeeta ji as i just advised one of another viewer it is the hbs ag that needs to be compared you need to go for a hbs ag titer value test on the 7th day of my treatment and you again need to go for a retest of the same after 2 months of my treatment then we shall be comparing both these tests and after comparing both these tests we can see how quickly you are recovering and then we can calculate an approximate time frame that is required for you to come out of this disease yes manish priya manish priya asking about the cost of medicine for one month Uh, treatment of hepatitis b see when it comes about the cost of treatment i always advise my patients that we get people from economic levels of society so if the liver is not damaged see if the liver is damaged by the virus we are compelled to give expensive and quick acting medications but in majority of the patients the liver is not damaged so the medicines are pretty economical because if the liver is not damaged the patient has the choice to choose the type of medication which he wants 
purely herbal, herbal and mineral, or half minerals and metals. So, be it any kind of affordability, the treatment is very affordable if the liver is not damaged. So, do not worry about the cost. And if you want a free of cost treatment, Bhringaraj is very good. Bhumi Avala is very good. Giloe again is very good. You can start taking all of these. They will be very good in kicking off hepatitis virus out of the body. Yes. Mr. Shalder is thanking about our quality of products and he is very happy with our service. Thanks a lot, Mr. Shalder. It's really indeed a pleasure for us. This appreciation of you people really means a lot for us. We try day and night to give the best in Ayurveda to all of our patients. And to these live YouTube sessions also, which we are right now organizing, what I always try is to reach out to the patients, to the public, with the right kind of Ayurveda. Because of late, Ayurveda is becoming popular, but it is more about selling of herbs now the way that it is becoming. So, we need to be giving the best Ayurvedic guidelines, which I always believe in. So, once again, in the next week, either on Monday or Tuesday, I'll once again try being live with you people where I would like to answer your questions. So be it the normal patients who are taking treatments from us, be it our new viewers, you can always ask from us and you can always guide your friends to subscribe to our channel so that they can stay tuned to the next live session. We also are having a very good ongoing series over here on our channel on the name of Kitchen Hubs, Kitchen Dye Clinic. You can also go through those videos. They will be very helpful for you. So thank you all of you for watching. If I have missed out on any of your messages, my team of doctors will be getting back to you to reply. Thank you.